All right, how's it going, gamers? Uh, today, we're going to be finding the population of Dolphin Shoals in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, so let's take a quick look around real quick. I think Toads are the only like humanoid-ish characters on this track. We, there's a lot of things here I'm going to have to look up the name of, though, because like I don't know what the heck these guys are called. Like, I know they're called like Mana Rays or whatever, but like I'm assuming that this particular enemy has like a, like a, I guess not an enemy, it's friend shaped. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it has like a official Mario name, so we'll have to look that up later. Things like that, and also like the, the jellyfish goofballs over here. I'm sure these have like an official name. What we'll the look of those. Uh, and also the eel guy should be good. What else we got? Also, while I was looking around, I noticed some kind of cool things. So this area out here is actually. Uh, it's actually like a whirlpool, which I never realized. I thought it was just like a river that was like rapidly moving. I never realized that it was like a full on like whirlpool. And I just think that that's neat. There's some other things over here. I somehow also never noticed this. If we look over here, you can see that there are rocks shaped like dolphins. I thought that was kind of cool. So that's another interesting thing about this map that I saw beforehand. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll take. We'll, let's just start with the toads. Let's get right into it. You know, hey, two there. Two more there. All right, nine total toads, and they all have the the snorkels on too. I want to double check something though. I want to see if they change their colors when you restart the race, because sometimes, usually when the toads have like accessories on like this, they don't change color. But these might be the exception. So, let's see, we got green, yellow, pink. Oh, we got blue, blue, blue. All right, that uh. That concludes that they do, in fact, change each round. That's interesting. All right, let's do the cheap, cheap stacks. All right, one, two, three. There are seven total. Maybe we do those jellyfish things next. I want to look up what those are called, though. Jelly Beam is their official name. Jelly Beam. That is, a, that is an odd name. I kind of like it, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there are seven. There are 11 total jelly beams. Uh, what else can we get? Let's do the seagulls next. I think it's just the three. Three seagulls. Uh, we could do... Let's do the dolphin things next. I want to look up what those things are called. Dolphin things. There are four. Let's look up what they're called, though. Oh, they're actually just called dolphins. Huh. I need to look up what those manta ray things are called. Okay, they are just called manta. How many of those are there? I like manta ray. Manta rays are freaking cool. They are neat. Neat critters. Yeah, it's just the one. Let me look around a little bit more, though. Yep. There's the single Manta. Uh, I need to figure out what the eel thing's called. I think it might be a Ma Ray. Yeah, we'll say it's a Ma Ray. One Ma Ray. I think we got all of the living things except for the fish. Cool. Let's cut the fish now. So I'm going to have to figure out how many different types of fish there are first, because this part's going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to have to find all of the spots for them and then figure out their path and how many there are. I think they might only be at the start, but I want to double check that. I think there's only three different types of fish. I don't I don't know my fish well enough to, to know the names. Yeah, we got three types there and then we got another pool here. Same three types. These might be identical as well. So if we count one of these, we might be able to we might only have to count one of these. Oh yeah, there's another one there, another pool there. No fish except for the cheap cheeps there. I think we're good there as well. Yeah, I think I think there's only those three, those three groups. So not as bad as I thought. Just gonna be a little bit hard to keep track of all this. Cause they are 2D, so you can't always see them all. Oh wait, no. They spawn in and out. That makes it more difficult. I can't actually count that. Let's see, do the big ones spawn in and out? It might only be the little ones that spawn in and out. If that's true, then we'll be able to count the big ones. I'm just going to keep my eye on that one that's kind of top middle, the the, the black, white, and yellow one. Let's see if that one disappears ever. Okay, yeah, the big ones stay there. So we can count those. Let's see the, the, the black, the black, white and yellow ones. I think there's only three. Yes, that seems to be the case. Three of those, three of those there. Four, yeah, there's, there's four of the, the white and yellow ones. Blue, we'll just say it's a, I don't know, a school, a school of them. And I'll have to explain in the video that they spawn in and out. So there's no real way to know how many there are. Unfortunate. All right, let's check the second uh, group and see if it's identical. 
There are three of those guys and four of those guys. Okay, so it's the same for all the groups. That makes my job very easy. That means there's nine of the black, white, and yellow fish, 12 of the yellow and white fish, and three schools of blue fish. Cool. Let's do the coral next. Let's see, how many different types of coral are there? Let me write down the different types that we got. So here we got pads. We're gonna call the, these flat ones, we're gonna call those pads. We're gonna call these like kind of like chunky looking ones. These ones right right here, we're gonna call those, we're gonna call those broccoli. We're gonna call those broccoli. Uh, we'll call these fan. And then these ones, we'll call them spaghetti. I don't know. So are there any other types? Uh, what do we even call that? Uh, Swiss cheese. We're gonna, we're gonna call that one Swiss cheese. Elongated broccoli with that has like these dots at the end. Long broccoli. Like ones with dots on them. We'll call them jelly. Jelly. Like they kind of look like jellyfish to me. Almost. I don't know. The ones that have like the fork at the top. We'll call those snake tongue. Let's start off with the pads. Uh, so we have 58 of the pad coral on the right side. Now we're going to cut the left side. Okay. There's 64 on that side. Very nice. There is 122 total of the pad coral. Uh, next up, we're going to do the fan coral. We got some keys. Oh man, my frame rate on my camera is awful right now. We're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna go without the camera today. Hopefully that's okay. I did not realize it was that bad. Seven on the right side that are fan, fan type coral. All right, cool. We should have them all. So the six on the left side, 13 total. Uh, next we're gonna do the spaghetti ones. Okay, I think that's all the spaghetti ones on the right side. We got 12 on the right. Okay, that should be all of them on the left. That's 11 on the left, which leads to 23 total. Uh, next up, we're going to cut the Swiss cheese. Oh yeah, there's one there. Okay, so there's four total. Uh, next, we're going to do the broccoli. We got five on the right. We have five total on the left. There are five on the right and five on the left for 10 total. Uh, next, we're going to do long broccoli. Uh, that's a long broccoli right there. It's got the little dots on the end. That's another one. Five on the right. How many more do we got? One there, one there. Did I just count that twice? No, I did not. One there. Leading to a total of 13. Uh, next, we're gonna do the jellyfish coral. Okay, cool. There are nine on the right. So one there. And there. And there. And there. Seven on the left leading to 16 total. Uh, and now we're down to our last type of coral, which is snake tongue, which is these things right, right here. They kind of got like that little bit on them. They kind of look like a dog bone or something. I don't know, I call them snake tongue because they're like forked at the end. One there, one there. Seven on the right and eight on the left, leading to 15 total. Now to total it all together and get the grand total of how much the coral there is. So it leads us to a grand total of 216 total coral on this map. I think when we move on to the plants next, uh, maybe we should do the seagrass first and then we'll worry about like the bushes and vines and stuff. Yeah, okay, there's 15. So there's 15 in each of those like big clumps. These little tufts, these are copy and pasted too. So if we count one of these, that should make it pretty easy as well. Let me let me double let me double check that statement actually. Ten in that one. Let's check the second one. Make sure they're identical. Ten in that one as well. I believe they're identical. I want to check another one though. One, two. Okay, there's ten in that one as well. So those little clumps are copy and pasted, which makes this very easy to find out how many blades of grass there are on this map. Blades of seagrass. Sorry. We'll do the long ones first on the right side. One, uh, two, there's one there, two there. Okay, on the right side, we have 15 tufts of uh, the big old, big old grass. Check the left side. And one there, one there. 11 on the left, 390 long blades of seagrass. Next up is the short ones, which each have 10 blades each. There are two there. Uh, we got two more there. Okay, so we have 37 clumps on the right side. 
37, so that's 370 blades of uh, small short grass. Or, yeah. 370 on the right. Now we got to check the left. Two there. One, two. And I know what you're thinking. Is this guy really counting blades of grass on a Mario Kart track? And my answer to that is yes. Yes, I am. Why am I doing it? I don't know. I think it's, I think it's neat. I like doing it. There's three clumps there. Uh, so there's 290 on the left. There are 660 total short blades of seagrass. Very good. Uh, next, let's do the, the regular seaweed. Actually, so each one of these clumps is three of these stalks. So we'll count each clump as three. Because there's like three, three vines or whatever. Oh, this one there. I don't think there's any over here, but we'll double check. Nada. Six on the right. Let's check the left. There's one there. Saw another one there. There's one there. And there are six on the left as well. So six on the right, six on the left. Very cool. 36 total stalks of seaweed. I wanna I wanna I wanna start with these vine branches. That's what we're gonna do. Could be good. Two there, a little one there, and another one there. They're all over the dang place. Oh, they got them up top too. We gotta make sure we get them all too. They're probably not gonna be on the back sides. They usually only things have things on the front because that's where you're gonna be looking while you're racing. That probably won't be any down here either because this is all underwater. We can check up above a little bit, but there probably won't be any. One, two, one, two. Oh, I didn't see these plants before either. I think those are exclusive to here. I don't think this particular plant is anywhere else on the map. I think it's only on this particular structure. There's a couple of them. Uh, more vines over here. I would consider that one up top to be on the right side, so we will count it as such. All right, we got 31 on the right side. Now we got to go to the left side after I write that down. Are there none over here? There's none. That's so weird. They're like all over the place on the right side. It's weird that they're not on the left. Huh. You know, they are up here, though. One. Uh, there's another one there. Yeah, look at that big old whirlpool. Whenever I, I, I didn't actually realize that this was a whirlpool until I started free camming here. Like um, in game, like I, I thought it was like a river. I never realized it was a whirlpool. Uh, there's one there and that's on the left side, which is nine, nine on the left side and finish the race just at the right time. Nine on the left, so 31 on the right, nine on the left. Well, that leads to a total of 40 vines on this track. Incredible. We can do the bushes. Yeah, let's do the, bu the bushes. The We're kind of counting anything that just kind of generally looks like this shape because th there's multiple types of those. Like we have this one that's like very complex and then we have some that are just like a plus. And we're counting those the same thing. So anything that just kind of looks like that when you're looking at it from the side, we'll count that as a bush. This one there. Oh, there's one all the way up there. What the heck? Kind of hard to tell what's the right and what's the left side of the track up here. I think this is left side. So that's still right side. These three are left. So this one is right. Those three are left. Did I count those four? Shit, I gotta start over. I don't know if I counted this four. I lost track. Back around. Three there, two there. Shit, I lost I lost count again. What the heck? I don't know what the heck. I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need more hydration or something. What the heck? Let's try it again. Two there. Two there. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. We count one of those is that left or right we'll count that as right okay so 68 total 68 total on the right side now we gotta do left side also I don't know I, I'm assuming this is like a tree oh wait there's more bushes over here aren't there yeah there's bushes on this mountain thing dang it okay let's count those then one, two, one, two. That's two there. Then three there. All right, cool. The new number is 85 on the right. Let's do the left side. Yeah, the bushes are surprisingly difficult to keep track of. I was expecting them to be easier. One, two, one there. One, two, three, one, two. So 35 on the left. 35 on the left. Oh, that's that's funny. It was exactly 100 
bushes on this map. Exactly. Funny how that works out. I like it when that, when it lines up like that. Always a pleasant surprise. And it, and it does that more than you would think, too. It, it's... it. You would be surprised how often it, like, lines up perfectly like that. Like, just nice, 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 nice whole numbers like that or whatever. Very satisfying. Uh, let's do these tufts of grass next. We could... We could... We could ho count how many blades there are. Because these should be copy-pasted. And there's four of the exact thing per tuft. So if we just count one of them, we should be able to... Yeah. Maybe beneath would be easier, actually. Yeah, 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 beneath is way easier. Because then it's against the blue. Then we only have to count the little bottom parts. That'll make it a lot easier. Hmm. Those are a little tricky to count. Especially, like, right there where they, like, all intersect. That's hard. How am I going to do this? Let me get real close to it. Maybe if I slow the camera down, like, crazy slow, I'll be able to, like, figure out a good angle for it. Actually, yeah, 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 if I just slow it down like a lot and I just like pan it this way and count it as I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. All right. We figured we, we, we got a plan time to execute to there. One, two, one, two. There are 47 blades of grass on each of those textures, and that is uh, multiplied by four. OK, and I want to double check that number, too. So there's 188 per the per patch of these. I want to want to double check that number though. Let's go through it a second time. Okay, I got 47 a second time. I think it's 47. Start with the right side. There's a bunch up here. One, two, three, four, 32 R. Let's count the left side. Three. Let's see here. Three more there. I think we're on that side. Okay, so there's 24 on the left left we gotta recount the right side or not recount we need to add some to the right side because we didn't count we counted those ones but not from here over one two one two grab that one so it's 37 on the right for 24 on the left good stuff there are eleven thousand four hundred and sixty eight blades of grass on this track that that is that is the the final total for that Oh my goodness, that is a that is, that is a big old number. All right, what 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 do we what do we count next? What is the next thing? I think we I think we do um, I think we do these next. One there, one there. Yeah, yeah, there, there's a couple right there. One more there. Okay, there are 16 on the right side. Let me write that down. What do I even call these? Broadleafed plants? No. I'm gonna call it that. Yeah, broadly plants. One there. That's another one there. One, two, three more. Okay, we got 18 on the left. Let's see. Here. So 34 of the broadleaf plants total. And now we need to do the philodendrons, which are only over in this area. I think there's only a couple of them too. There's one there. That's one philodendron. Okay, there's two more down there. One, two. So there's six philodendrons total. Uh, how the how the hell do you spell philodendron? And I think that's everything. So total, there are nine toads on this track, seven cheap cheeps, eleven jelly beams, three seagulls, four dolphins, one manta, one ma ray. Uh, there are three schools of bluefish, twelve yellow and white fish, nine black, white, and yellow fish, uh, and that's all the living things. As for the plants, uh, for coral, we have uh, there we have how many different uh, we have a bunch of different coral types. So we have the pad type of uh, actually, I'll, I'll just do the total type total coral. Uh, what is the total coral? We have 216 total uh, coral total, and we have a bunch of different types. I'll, I'll put those in a more concise way in the actual video. It'll be good. Uh, we then have seagrass. Uh, which we have 390 long blades of seagrass and 660 uh, short blades of seagrass. We have 36 seaweed. We have 40 vines, uh, 100 bushes, uh, 11,468 blades of grass. 
uh, 34 leaf related plants and six philodendrons, one whirlpool and three dolphin rocks. Fantastic, folks. Look at that. That's huge. We got it all counted. That is pretty dang cool. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Make sure you like, subscribe and all that stuff. If you want to watch live, then head on over to the Twitch. The link is in the description. I also have a Discord where if you want to chat with the community and keep up with the latest proxy news, then that's the place to be. Anyways, I'll see you next time. You're welcome.